so children you can see the diagram here of the test tube and as i told you there are different uh, you know uh, positions that are being occupied by the different pigments you can see right that is the loading spot there ether solvent and to calculate the rf value we need to first after taking out the chromatographic paper and drying it we need to first measure the distance traveled by the solvent and then the distance from the loading spot the distance traveled by each pigment that is carotene xanthophyll chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b from the loading spot we need to calculate the distance traveled so that is the loading spot here so the distance traveled by chlorophyll b then this is the distance traveled by chlorophyll c this is the distance traveled by xanthophyll and this is the distance traveled by carotene so uh, to calculate the rf value we have to divide the distance traveled by the compound by the compound what is the compound the compound is chlorophyll b occupying the lowermost position chlorophyll a third chlorophyll uh, xanthophyll is the second position and carotene is the first position so the distance traveled by the compound divided by the distance traveled by the solvent now when we calculate the distance traveled by the solvent it comes to 7 so 7 would be common for all and the distance traveled by the compound that is carotene xanthophyll chlorophyll a and chlorophyll b would differ right so we need to calculate the rf value for that we will first make a table right so here you can see is the table that is made the rf value of different plant pigments at room temperature so in the first column is the name of the pigment the second column is the color of the spot the third column is calculation and the fourth column is the rf value now if we see the topmost position is yellow orange in color and yellow orange in color indicates the presence of the pigment carotene and the distance traveled is 6.67 and if we divided that is the distance traveled by the compound right so this is how we calculate it and we divided by the distance traveled by the solvent which is 7 common in all so the rf value is 0.95 similarly the second position occupied is a uh, is yellow in color and the yellow in color is the pigment xanthophyll right if we calculate the distance traveled by this pigment from the lo uh, loading spot it is 5.25 and when we divided by 7 the rf value is 0.71 right so the third position is dark green in color right which is chlorophyll a and if we calculate the distance traveled by this dark green color that is chlorophyll a from the loading point it comes to 4.55 divided by 7 the rf value is 0.65 and the lowermost position is occupied by light green color which is chlorophyll b the distance traveled by chlorophyll b from the loading point right so what is the loading point here we do the chromatographic paper center here this is the loading point right from there the distance traveled so that comes to 3.15 and the rf value is 0.45 right so that is the distance that is traveled that is the rf value that we have calculated now if we come to the result so what do we deduce or what is the result that we have got from the experiment that we have done so the result the result would be the result would be that the uppermost orange yellow band right uppermost orange yellow band corresponds to carotene the yellowish band corresponds to xanthophyll right the third from above is dark green which is chlorophyll a 
and the low most is light green or yellowish green which is chlorophyll b so that is the result that we get and now coming to the last uh, part of the experiment are the precautions right so let's talk about the precautions what precautions must we take while we conduct this experiment number 1 the spinach leaf should be fresh and green right so if we write if i write it here spinach leaf leaves should be fresh and green that is the first thing that we need to keep in mind the second point that we need to keep in mind that is the precaution is that the loading spot right the loading spot should be small and concentrated so if we draw if if this is the chromatographic paper we've cut a notch with a line drawn over here and the loading spot is the center point right so the loading spot should be small and concentrated right so loading spot should be small and concentrated the third thing that we have to keep in mind is that the loading spot should be placed at least 1 cm 2 uh, to 3 cm away from the tip of the notch right that is the loading spot should be there 2 to 3 cm away then the fourth point that we have to keep in mind the fourth point is that while hanging the strip in the test tube or in the beaker that we did the loading strip should remain about 1 cm above the solvent now uh, if we look at this diagram over here right and we talk about the loading strip right so while hanging the strip in the test tube you can see this is the strip right that is found in the test tube right the loading strip should remain about 1 cm above the solvent right this loading point should be 1 cm above the solvent the chromatographic paper strip should not touch the walls if you see here the paper strip is not touching the walls of the test tube or even the, the beaker that we had taken you would see that the chromatographic paper is not touching the wall so that is very very important right it should not be dried in sunlight right before all this calculation after you see the colors have reached the colors have separated or the pigments have separated then we have to dry the chromatographic paper but the drying should be in uh, in shady place and the drying should not be done in uh, sunlight so the last point that is the sixth point is that the paper strip chromatographic paper strip should not be dried in sunlight should not be dried in sunlight this is very very important right so if we keep these precautions in mind uh, the experiment that we conducted would be done successfully so that's about it for today's class right today's practical i would send you the pdf of the practical also you can copy the practical from there thank you